Hey, what's up everybody? Jay here. Um, for the past two weeks I have been suffering with a, from a problem with my Xbox. And that would be my dashboard was running really, really slow. Thanks to the new system update. Now, um, I fixed the problem. And, uh, well, it just, it freaking sucked. I mean, it just freaking sucked. I was getting so pissed off with it and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who had to suffer through that um, I mean it would take me five minutes just to sign into my account and then like a minute or two to do everything else I mean just sign into my games to to uh, to get into my storage do anything it's it fucking sucked I couldn't even get on Xbox Live sometimes well I no longer had to deal with that problem since I fixed it and in case anyone else is having problems with this, I thought it'd be a good idea if I showed you guys how to fix yours. Alright, so here's the first step. Now, now before I do this, um, um, I'm not guaranteeing that it will work. Okay, so hopefully it will. Now, here's the first step. So, this is my Xbox. It is an Xbox 360 Slim with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Alright, so the first step you want to do is uh, turn off your Xbox. And uh, then you want to take out your hard drive. Now for the Slim, it the hard drive would be right uh, here. And there it is. There's my hard drive. Now, like I said, the first thing you need to do is turn off your uh, Xbox. Um, then you want to take out your hard drive. Now, I'm not going to take it out because my Xbox is still on. But uh, just take it out and then uh, turn your Xbox back on. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you if you want ask you to do, load, do a system update. You're going to say no. Do not update the system, okay? Then, once you do that, hopefully your Xbox will be running at normal speed. And uh, if it does, that's great. That's good. That's a good sign. Then what you need to do uh, is uh, uh, turn your Xbox back off. Then uh, put your hard drive back in. Turn your Xbox back on. And uh, hopefully that will work. Now, if it doesn't work, well, don't worry. I still have a few more things I can show you. Now, the next thing you can do, if this doesn't work, is you can go to your storage and delete some games. Okay, so to get, hopefully you all know how to do it, but just in case, you go to your settings, then go to system settings, and go to storage and hard drive, and then you have I have all this stuff here I can delete. I mean, here's all the games I play: Assassin's Creed, Batman, Bioshock, all that stuff. And I have a ton of games here I can delete. Like, I mean, let's see, hold on, example. I'm. <laughs> there we go, like Battlefield. I don't even play Battlefield. And I, if I wanted to, I could delete this stuff if I wanted to. And uh, hopefully that'll work. And if it doesn't, well, there's another thing you can do. The, ne the third option is to go, go to your, stay in your storage. Highlight your hard drive and hit and hit the Y button, which is the device options. See it right there? You hit the Y button. And then it's gonna then you're gonna go to clear system cache. Um cache. I don't I don't know how to say that, but but uh, uh, just highlight that thing and hit the then select it. What it will do is it will delete your updates. It will not delete your games, it will not delete your achievements, it will not delete the only thing we'll get rid of is your updates, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, um, hopefully that works. If it doesn't work, then, uh, well, chances are you have a bad hard drive, which that was my problem, okay? So I had to go through the process of transferring all my stuff from the old hard drive, which was this thing right here. This is the old hard drive that isn't working. Now I'm just, um, I don't know, I'm just keeping it around just in case uh, something 
just in case, like, maybe some miracle happens and it eventually does work in case I run into this problem again, you know? Uh, you never know. You never know. It's, it might happen. Um, and so I have the new hard drive in that one. So just transfer all your content from the old hard drive to the new one, and hopefully it will work. Before you do that, check your internet connection to make sure that it's your and not your internet. But uh, like I said, if it's uh, if you're able to go normal speed and you have your hard drive out, then I'm pretty sure that means it's not your Xbox. But if it's going slow, it's still going slow after I, you do all the things I just told you. Chances are it's your hard drive. So just transfer your stuff from your an old your to a new hard drive, and hopefully that'll work. That's what that was my problem. And, uh, well, as you can see, everything works now. Everything's going as fast as it should. So, hopefully this helps you guys out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all later. Alright, bye.